Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to Let's Try Sim Airport. Sim Airport is a game that's still very early in development, it's early access on Steam right now, but it's the sort of game that I personally couldn't really resist trying out because you guys know me, I love airplane stuff, um, and I like sort of simmy tycoony kind of games. So this is a game that is, I think, very, very inspired in terms of user interface. Uh, by something probably like Prison Architect. But in this one, instead of dealing with a nice prison where you're trying to keep all your prisoners happy, you're generating the kind of hell that is an airport over here. So um, here's what we start with. This again, it's very, very early access and the developers have pointed out a lot. You know, there, there, there may be lots of bugs. They're very paranoid about that, which I like. I like because it's a sign that they really care about the quality of the, of the game they're putting together. So we might run into some things and there's lots of stuff that is incomplete. You can, you know, start a new game over here. Uh, career mode versus sandbox. Presumably the only difference right now is that you have money to worry about. Um, map size, medium, large, extra large. We can do that. And, you know, we've got some bits that are not available yet in the early access. It's also recommended that we don't actually start from pure scratch um, in this current build. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And that's exactly what we're looking at over here. So this is our starting airport. We've got one runway over here. Uh, what You know, I'm quite curious about if I were to try to build a new runway. And if I were to rotate, oh, see, it doesn't actually have the numbers. That's great. Because the numbers of the runways actually, I don't know if you guys know this, is the, the direction of the runway. So um, just add a, a zero and you've got your degrees, right? So if you're going east or 90 degrees, you are landing this way or taking off this way, where it's 27. And what's cool about this game is that it does have the, um, the weather over here, Sim Weather Channel. That's great. Uh, and the direction of the wind actually does determine what uh, what what of the two ends of the runway the airplanes are using which is kind of awesome all right and here we've got the actual airport terminal over here not a whole lot going on we've got one gate gate a1 we've got our gate agent desk over here a couple of restrooms one before security one after security over here doesn't seem to be divided up by gender um and we've got our security stand over here id check metal detector bag scanner with a lot more options. There's like the full body scanner if we want to do that. Um, I don't know uh, because it's so early. I don't know if there's real security concerns. I, the random events are turned off. Um, I, I don't know what's in there, but right now we do get to fiddle around and build some stuff. So first thing we need to do actually is we need to get some customers and customers are not so much the passengers exactly as the airlines. We have a runway and we have a gate, but currently no one is coming here. So we have to go to the airline interest and see who's who. So there are currently four airlines that are interested in flying to me. Um, there are a variety of other airlines in here as well, but none of them, uh, these guys don't have any interest right now because we don't have really the customer base. Now, as it stands, we can actually only support daytime flights, but we're going to change that in a moment. So Aerotime over here, they're going to come with mostly some bigger planes over here. They've got one morning flight. They also would love to do a night flight, but we can't do it because we don't have any lights on our one runway. I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and upgrade that right away, actually. So we click on runway here and we hit upgrade. We're going to upgrade it with some runway lights. So on the runway like that, that's going to be good. And um, I don't know if it matters, but we're going to put down the, uh, the Papi. The Precision Approach Path Indicator. This is actually a great little system. Um, such a simple little system, the way it works in real life, is basically there are these four lights next to the runway, and depending on the angle that you're coming in at, you'll see them either as white or red. And the sweet spot is when you see two white and two red. That means you're perfectly aligned for your landing at the runway. So we'll just throw one down. I, I don't know if it does anything, but it'll feel cool. Technically, there should be one at either end, but let's ignore that. So at some point, my workers will go there and upgrade that with some lights. So let's go ahead and grab some of these. Um, we'll go ahead and accept all, which is just the morning flight for now. A Ford Air over here. So different airlines have different concerns as well. You can see there's different acceptance bonuses. Uh, these guys are, care very much about airport and runway usage prices, and they're very upset if there's any flight cancellations, but they're all morning flights, so I think I think we can handle that. Let's go and accept those, and let's take a look at our schedule real quick here. So um, these are the flights that we have currently accepted. Uh, they're all morning flights, and yeah, we wouldn't be able to accept a northern morning flight. These guys are arriving, there's about a 15 minute gap in between them departing and the next one coming in, and then they spend about two hours um, at the gate in this particular simulation. Uh, if, oh, there we go, Airstar would like to do an afternoon flight. Um, oh, but it would require a larger gate, so we can't really do much more. They've got bigger planes, we only got a small gate over here, so that's going to be about it. So I guess that's going to be our schedule to start off with four morning flights, and we'll see if we can't do a little bit better. Um, those lights will get installed at some point, we can accept them some night flights. There are no flights today, 
but tomorrow they will start to come in at this point. So nothing going on today. We've got some more time to think about what we are doing over here. Now, one of the great things about this game is the fact that they simulate the exciting life of standing in queues to do things. Um, I don't know if the queue should literally end like right in front of the desk or maybe one off. Maybe one off. I, I don't know. And that, oops, that's the way it would work in real life, right? Is you, you sort of queue up just a little off of things. So we'll do something like that and like that, have a little mini queue. Probably we'll need some more, um, some more of these uh, ticket agents soon. I suppose we could sort of loop this around a little bit. What if we, um, let me shrink this one. Oops, shrink. Thank you. What if we actually did it this way? Da, 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 da. Yeah. I think that's a little bit more realistic to the, the sort of wibbly-wobbly kind of queuing that we tend to do. There we are. Um, I think they'll be able to enter through there just fine. I'm pretty sure they can enter here. It does look a little silly that it seems to end in the wall. I suppose I could just shorten it by one. Maybe, you know what, just, just for visual appeal, I will go ahead and do that. Shorten you guys just like that. There we go. So there's our queue for these guys. And again, the little exit over here might look a little derpy but I'm pretty sure it works fine. So we'll do that. We could also set up a little queue by security. Otherwise people will just sort of like congregate in a big old pile. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's not block the restroom, but what if we did this and maybe came back around and maybe up again, it's probably going to be a big backlog over here. So we've got someone who will check the ID and then you're going to go through all the various scanners. We could go and uh, increase this later by building a little bit more foundation and moving the walls. That's going to be all right. Uh, badge gauge claim we're going to leave as is for now because we've got a lot of construction put in. We could put in a couple extra workers to get it done a little bit faster. We're going to just get, let this get started. So right now what will happen is the baggage will be unloaded from the plane and someone will put it on a little trolley and we'll actually push it over the baggage claim and then basically dump it all on the ground. We'll build up a carousel later on and some underground conveyor belts to help us move the baggage relatively soon oh we have oh, we have the opportunity for one more queue i know you're excited it's always exciting when you get to build more queues here we're going to go ahead and do um oh why not a little bit more a little bit more there we go that's going to be our queue for the gate here but we have to go and link these so we're going to assign that queue to there we're going to say that you are going to be assigned to this queue. You can sort passengers, coach, first class, so you can have different quality levels over there. Uh, we're going to assign you there. Close that. And we are going to assign you to there as well. There we go. So anyone can queue to any one of these stations. They're not assigned to um, any particular gate or um, air airline, nor are we assigning them to a particular class of passengers at all. So we're still going at speed five. We've got some extra money here. One of the things we can do on the other side is I think we can build like a little bit of a cafe so that people can chill a little bit. So we have these zones. We can go and specify, say, a cafe zone. And if we do something like, it doesn't have to be very big. Um, I think this would actually be fine. And then what we can do is put a line of maybe cafe chairs here and let's rotate them. And then little cafe tables in between, like that. I think that looks nice. The exclamation mark will tell you what's missing. The uh, the chairs haven't been put in yet. The chairs of the tables, so they're still missing. But we can see we also need a cash register. So register like this. And I'm trying to see which side. I, th I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Let's do that and see what, what goes on. So the cafe also needs to be linked. Once it gets built, it'll need to be linked to a bit of a kitchen. So we're going to have to build a kitchen next to this. Well, it doesn't have to be next to it, but we will put it next to it like that. And the kitchen will need to be enclosed, as we'll see over here. It needs an enclosed space. So we're going to go and build a series of walls. Maybe I'll do this and that and that. And it'll also need a door to count as fully enclosed. So we'll put you there and the kitchen needs quite a few things. So let's get that started. We need a sink. Boom. We need a cooker. Excellent. Uh, there needs to be a refrigerator. Um, where do we want to build it? Yeah, I guess like that, that's going to be fine. What else do you need? You need a prep cart. We'll put it on the other side there. Uh, and a pizza oven. Woo. All right. That's exciting. Pizza oven. Okay. It's not too big. And I'm going to throw in one more thing. Uh, I don't really have the room for it. I was going to throw in a coffee maker, which isn't required. 
but then you can start selling coffee. Maybe we'll leave it off for now. We might actually be able to stick it in right there. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Uh, coffee maker. Boom. If you mouse over it, it'll tell you uh, adds coffee to kitchen capabilities. So we'll get that done. I think, yeah, you need to be assigned to a kitchen zone. So we're going to assign one to the other. And then you guys are just going to need this stuff installed. We've already got some people sitting down here. Let me slow down the speed here. So we've got people that have showed up at ticketing. That's great once they get their ticket. So they do drop off their bags here. And someone's going to have to pick them up, I think, uh, from here. I think the bags will just accumulate over here. And someone's going to have to carry them to the plane. Then they'll go ahead and queue for security. And go through there. So, so far, so good. Some people are already queuing for the gate. Has the plane arrived? Oh, our first plane has arrived. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. It's a little on the dark side. Uh, we do have our lights down, which means we can actually start to accept some evening flights. And we'll probably want to do that. But there we go. Aero time 2502. It's a Boeing 737 coming in here. And it's got... Um, tells me how many people are standing in line. doesn't tell me how many people are on this flight itself. But I'm willing to bet there are some. And they're going to go and run their way over to the, uh, the baggage claim. I just realized we need some staff. I'm going to get maybe a couple of food workers here. Ready to go. So, kitchen has no available inventory. You're still waiting for some construction to finish. I think I'm going to go ahead and build another couple of workmen. I think we'll put them to good use. So let's go ahead and put them down so they can build some stuff a little faster for us. So you can see people are unloading over here. And yeah, I think we should... They're waiting for the baggage claim. We should see a little trolley come out of here with a bunch of luggage. At some point. But we can do a much, much improved version of this relatively soon here. Oh, maybe they just went... 68 people have boarded, and off they go. Meanwhile, any second now, there should be another plane landing, I believe, right? Because if we take a look at our, maybe our status, on route. Oh, 8.15, the next one. Oh, okay. Arrives at 4, parts at 6. Oh, no, arrives at 6.15 on final approach right now. Curious to see how it deals. There we go. It lands. Wait to clear the runway, and the other one goes. We've got lots of taxiway. They've got, the game clearly has a lot of logic, actually, for dealing with a lot of the queuing. And the taxiways, it's surprisingly well developed for that. I was very impressed. Um, if you schedule too many things, which is very easy to do, uh, fl flights get like cancelled last minute to, because there's no room at the gate, and then your passengers get all pissed off. Very good. Okay, so they're going to unload over here. Some people have to use the restroom. Just waiting. Oh, there's a little trolley. There we go. Danielle wasn't crazy. A little golf cart, which is going to have some luggage. And he's just going to dump it right on the ground here. Oh, he's going around. Oh, no, he's picking up new luggage. There it is. Here's a full golf cart. And just blah, just drops, just throws everything on the ground. It's the most miserable service. I love it. I love it. It gives you that proper uh, uh, airport experience of we just don't care about you in any way whatsoever at all. We just want to get you in and out as, much, as quickly as possible. And we also want to drain as much money as possible out of your pocket. Speaking of money from your pocket, oh, first of all, I need to get down some garbage cans. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are we? Garbage bins. That's what I want. Because people are disgusting, disgusting pigs, and they're going to dump their stuff all over the place. So let's get a couple there. Let's get one after security and right before security. Um, and maybe right here by the front door. And right here by the exit as well. Boom. There we go. Let's get that done. Oh, because people just throw their garbage all over. We do have a janitor. I think that's her going around now. And she'll clean things up, but it's going to be a lot better if we've got garbage bins for people to throw their stuff in. So how's the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Someone just landed. Boom. And the next one is departing. So that 15-minute gap seems pretty good. In fact, we might even be able to put them a little tighter together. But that probably would be a bad idea. So you could design a bad taxi waiver there, even ends up being a deadlock, but so far so good. And I love the fact that the planes are different sizes. It's a Boeing 767 and a 737 over here. And you arrive, and we've already got some people standing in line for that flight. Okay, so that's a really wonderful f start. Now, we did go and build some lights, so we can accept some night flights. Let's get a couple there, um, and we could probably do a little bit more. 7.37 at night. There we go. At least, we should be able to handle at least three, I would think. Let's take a look at our nighttime schedule over here. Whoa! That's somewhat less than great. I don't suppose... Oh, 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 oh. I'm worried if we do this, it'll overlap too much. It likes to put in that 15 minute. We're going to try to cram that in uh, for now. Really, And yeah, we can't go any earlier. Oof. 
Uh, this this might backfire on us. I don't know. Now, we're not going to find out today. Okay, It's going to be tomorrow when we get those night flights. But if we start to see a bunch of people go, arg, 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 we'll check the status, and it'll probably happen that one of the flights got cancelled. Um, and that would be bad. I'm wondering if I should have a second um, janitor, because this these people are disgusting. Spawn a janitor in there. A little golf cart action. Okay, we've got lots of money. The next thing we can do to upgrade things is we can get another gate going on. And we already know that there are some flights that we would have liked to have been able to say yes to, but we can't because they need a bigger gate. So we may go ahead and do that. I'm wondering about um, improving the baggage handling at 1.2. We'll see. It looks like we might need some extra ticketing. Oh, we actually might be short on staff. I don't know... where they're going, actually. Looks like there's actually extra people that are maybe working at um, at this counter here. Oh, we got an ARG. Someone missed something. More ARGs over here. Okay, now we've got someone working there. Alright, so we got a little bit extra staff. That's going to be alright. So we got a, Air, a Ford Air 732. Flight 732 has just landed. Dumping out some people. I'm thinking about trying to decide if we want to upgrade our baggage claim before we set up a second gate or not. Passenger satisfaction, airline interest, very, very not high. Very, very not high. Yeah, needs larger gates. We get a lot of passengers if that happens. And we've got this here, Pacific Air, just the Beechcraft 1900. 19 passengers. Is it even worthwhile running those things? Like, that's not a lot of passengers for occupying a whole gate. Although, I believe that they'll pay just as much for their gate price. Oh, arg, arg, arg. I think I think they missed their flight. I think they missed their flight, and I think it's because there's a bottleneck here at uh, at ticketing. So we should probably do something about that. <clears throat> you think? So if we can get a new ticket counter, ticketing kiosk. Passengers that don't have checked luggage are able to use the automated t ticketing kiosk to print their boarding staff pass without needing assistance. Oh, that's great! It's not much more expensive than a desk, and we don't need a staff member, and it might save us a bunch of time. So. I'm going to do that and that, keep it nicely organized there, uh, but I will set up another ticketing desk as well. That blue arrow, by the way, is to show how the conveyor belts are going to function. So if we do that, and then we set up a new queue ready to go, that goes kind of like this. There we go, and we'll just have to wait for this to be constructed so we can link it to that queue. Got plenty of construction people. But yeah, these ticketing kiosks might save us a lot of times. I didn't even realize that was a thing. I only went and like you know played for a little while to get used to the controls and get a little bit of a context about what to do. Oh, that's great. Assign to this queue. You have multiple queues servicing the same thing. I don't know if they can overlap. I think I don't know if one queue can be can lead to multiple things. I guess we could test that. So I mean, so I can do this, right? So these two queues go there. If I check on this desk, oh, it still works. So people queued up here can end up using either desk. That's interesting. I wonder if there's like better optimizations that might be available for doing stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, ticketing was still the bottleneck over here. God, it's such a mess. Although a lot of that was from before we put down the garbage can. And we do have the janitors going around somewhere at this point. So that'll be a thing. Um, status for today. Everyone has departed. Right, that's, that's the last of our flights for today. Because we didn't have any night flights yet. But. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should just build a large gate right away. Well, tell you what, I won't build a large gate right away, but what I will do is I could build... Or, sorry, an extra large, because this is a large one, I believe. You can take a look. Yeah, large, extra large. So, I mean, we could we could fit it in, but there's a nice spot right here for another large gate, so we can keep handling the same flights. I think if we're going to do anything, we might set up another large gate, like this one, um, and we need the, uh, the tower if we want to be able to accept more than 10 flights a day. And I think we're up to, we might be up to seven. So we can do three more without a tower. And the tower's very expensive at 30,000. You know what? Let's do it. Let's put down the gate over here. We're going to need um, probably, what is it, the big large sliding door. Line it up kind of like that. We're going to need another uh, gate, gate agent desk, something like this. We will set up another queue for this as well. 
Um, I guess similar to the other one, that's going to be fine. What did we do? Five wide? I think that's going to be okay. Very similar setup. And we may as well put another um, bin over here. Is it called garbage or recycling? Oh, I'm on the wrong uh, the wrong tab. There we go. Garbage bin. Um, sure, we'll put it there. That's going to be fine. Let that get constructed. It's going to be a lot of work. Some of these things have references to needing like concrete and this and that. Um, I don't know if that gets auto-delivered or if it's just not implemented in this particular thing. You can see the construction workers do carry some boxes of material, though. So this should be gate... Uh, I think this will be gate A2. I don't know if... Oh, my God. I'm doing this the wrong way around. Whoa, that was close. That was very close. I need to rotate you this way. Woo! Only because I was looking at the A whatever that I noticed that was the wrong way around. Okay, you need to be assigned to a gate, which will happen as soon as that is done. Ticketing is there. It's almost the next day. We've got plenty of flights coming in for that. Um, so I literally can't accept any more. Well, this little one. Okay. Acceptance bones per new scheduled flight. Should we just take this one anyway? I don't know. I think what I'd rather do is... There we go. Now that the other gate is done, I'm going to go and offset these guys. Like the 15 minute gap in there. There we go, like this, so that the runway congestion's not too bad. And I guess we'll do the same thing over here. We can do that, that, and oops. There we go. There we go. So we've got room for more flights in here if any of the uh, airlines actually become interested. We've had quite a few people already miss their flights, so there's going to be some amount of crankiness going on. Hmm. This will probably be less of a problem. Now, one of the things is my flights are not actually that far apart here, so there might end up being a bit of a bottleneck. I might want to offset things more. This probably will allow me to f fit in more flights, but depending on how they line up, I might be able to offset them a little bit more to reduce congestion at the ticketing, and uh, security is going to be the next big bottleneck. So we're going to assign you to that. Closed. There we go. And then what I'll probably do is start working on the baggage claim system. Which seems like a pretty good idea. So, for the, uh, the the baggage, what we've got is... There's utilities over here. So we need a baggage routing station. And it has to be next to... It has to be in a secure area, which we have here because of the fencing. Um, and it has to be placed adjacent to a road or taxiway. So this is a taxiway over here. So we'll do that as close as possible to the gates. And we got the conveyor lines over here. So you can see the blue and the magenta or pink line over here. So the blue is going to be our outgoing baggage. So we'll do something like this. And then our pink is going to be our inbound baggage. So we're going to drag this. We can't cross the conveyor belts. There's not multiple levels. But what I can do is drag this. Okay, maybe not over there. You get canceled. Is it going to cancel everything? No, it doesn't. We're going to bring you over this way. And then in the object, we're going to want a baggage carousel. Uh, like that. And then utilities, conveyor belt. I think we've got to do that. There we go. So now, I, I don't know like how much that helps with speed. We're not, not going to have those little golf carts anymore. And presumably people won't need quite as much patience. So I think some people are using the automatic ones. And other people are checking in. Now, the conveyor belt won't work yet. Oh, and there's going to be something else I'm going to have to build over here. Uh, before we can get this to work. We're going to need a hangar. So these can hold a variety of different vehicles. We're just going to build one small hangar and make sure it's adjacent to the taxiway like that. I take a fair amount of time to build. So there's a lot of people in ticketing queue. We have increased our ticketing capacity quite a bit by adding the ticketing desk as well as having the, um, the little kiosks. So you're complaining you need a hangar. Yep, that's they're working on it. This plane is going to arrive. The question is, will people all be able to get there? Will we see the ARGs from people missing their flight? Now, status-wide, on gate, on at gate, on route, on route. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, there might be a bit of a bottleneck at security as well. And yeah, the fact that we're dealing with two at the same time is probably super bad. I probably shouldn't be quite as greedy. And I, because, I mean, it's hard because, of course, I'm playing as an airline, so I want to be as greedy as possible. But it probably makes more sense to offset those, um, as, like, this. And then, actually, that can be scooched in a little bit. Because I was putting in the 30-minute gap for the old way, but now we could do this. And that's probably going to be 
fine. So there's going to be a lot less overhead here. A lot less overhead or backlog in security. I'm willing to bet some of these people are about to arg as soon as this guy leaves. Uh, 15 minutes left. 24 boarded. No one's standing in line for this right now. I don't know if the flight's supposed to be full. There's the args. The 66. I'm The 737, I think, can fit more people. I think 66 were the actual passengers that were supposed to be here. And they're all like, I've missed my flight. I've missed my flight. I've missed my flight. So the scheduling is going to improve tomorrow. But we may want to expand security at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and build a foundation here. We're just going to extend this out this way. And we'll expand security. Looks to me like the ID check station might be sufficient, but we've got a backlog by the um, the metal detector. So one ID check station is probably still going to be enough. We'll just double up on the... Uh, whoa, no, we've got some angry people. And actually, I think some of these people have just arrived. I'm not sure. But I'm worried that like this plane left their luggage still on because we don't have a proper luggage solution yet. I have no idea. Something's definitely not good, though. So our construction people are very busy out here making all of our underground baggage claim stuff. Um, oh, we've got more airline interest. Hey, look at that! Star flights. Can we... I wonder if we can deal with these. They're all... Yeah, see? The 737 can take 140 passengers, so... That 66 definitely was how many people were supposed to be on. So we just took in a bunch of new flights. Um, um, yeah, uh, well, we're going to remove it. I shouldn't have accepted this many. Maybe I should accept them one at a time from now on. There we go. So I just took a penalty because I'd accepted a flight and got a bonus from it and then canceled it and got a big penalty from having done that. Uh, we can fit more afternoon flights. That's the one we should be looking for here. Who wants afternoon flights? Smart Air Lux over here. Um, oh, we need a larger gate for that. We can do a six, 767. That's fine. Um, Galactic Point. Oh, now I'm at my 10 flights. So 10 flights is the cap. There you go. Smart Air Lux over here. And that's the earliest afternoon. That's going to be okay. But yeah, we'll have to extend our uh, our gates get an extra large, or we'll have to get a tower. It's 30 grand for that. We spent a lot of money. I think I'm going to sit on my hands for a little bit longer, uh, at least a day or two, and get some actual uh, money in from these flights. But notice, see, now the weather's, the, the wind's going northeast, so people are going to land, traveling west. Land and take off, traveling westward. You always land and take off into the wind, because when you're standing still, it's uh, the air is almost like you're already flying and moving forward, which means you don't need to give it yourself quite as much of a kick. We have a ton of mess over here. Let's get another couple of janitors. I'm sure that's going to increase my cost a fair bit, but I'll be alright. Uh, these... Oh, I think it's just the chairs tucked in or not tucked in. Tucked in. That's going to be okay. Alright. Horrible, disgusting mess everywhere. This is being built and expanded, which is good. Uh, you... Okay, we have a hangar. We can now assign... Whoa, pause. Oh, my secure area got broken. So, this hangar's got a slot for a vehicle. We are going to... I wonder what adding a fuel truck does. Maybe there's just certain planes that care about it. We're going to add a baggage car. So now, you should be okay, except you're not a secure area. We've got to finish the, uh, the little wall here. And our little security zone. Hopefully, it doesn't interfere with any of our flights. Um, this wall doesn't have to be there, but I don't think it's actually going to hurt us. We are going to... So I think we're okay now. Cause, yeah, because it's all sealed in. Now we're okay. But I'm still going to extend the security zone over here. And we are going to build a new metal detector. Oops. Metal detector, which we will put there. And then we need a new bag scanner, which we are going to put here. And we're going to need two new security guards. One for the metal detector and one for the baggage thing. So that brings us to a total of five, right? A pair of these and then one over here for the ID check. Okay. So another bottleneck we can eliminate. Although, just the superior scheduling today is going to help. We've got, um, right, we had nothing in the afternoon, which is good when we did the repairs, and then we've got two of our evening flights coming in right now, 15 minutes apart. It's our last day that they're going to be quite this, like, glued together, though. So how much money have we made from our food? Uh, I don't see any here. That's just recent transactions, though. Can we get a full balance? I can... Oh, yeah, so there's this research function over here. Um... 
which allows us to unlock a variety of different things. Not much right now in the current state of the game, but some. We build offices for our COO and our CFO, which allows us to research more things, take out loans, change prices. Um, we unlock the ability to have a double lane road over here for more capacity, which will be important later on. There, oh, you see our little baggage car? Huh? How cool is that? So it takes luggage off of this, drops it on here, but it will also pick up luggage from here, put it on there, and then bring it to the plane. Okay, our security situation. That's not bad, actually. The queue's moving fair bit. There's not a bottleneck over here. We're using both sides. Yeah, so I think the one, right now, the one ID check stand is sufficient. Can I, like... Hmm. There we go. Dismantle, that's what I want. Dismantle that wall. I mean, we've got a pillar, I guess that's fine, but... There we go. Mm, security, security, security. Oh, we still got some ARGs. So some people still didn't make their flight. There's four people. Only four people missed that flight, though. And over here, we're short three people. One person just missed their flight. Well, that's not as bad as it used to be. And people are, are starting to make their way through getting ready for the next flight as well. So some people are standing in line. Feels like there's missing some people here. Bordered. Some people may have just not been in line for this one because there's no one left in the queue. 66, 65 of 66. Who the hell's missing? Is it you? Were you just late? Yeah. You were just. No, you were just being bad or, I don't know, busy in the bathroom or something. It's not my fault that you missed your flight. I'm not taking responsibility for that one. Alright, that's really good. And we're about to start day four, and day four is going to have an even more sane schedule, right? Like, we've added more capacity here, but I think the fact that we're offsetting our flights a bit more is going to be super duper handy. What are we had in reports? Ooh, secure areas. Oh. Environment heat map. It's all going to be bad. Info heat map. Ah, to visualize the effect that knowledge emitting objects have on passengers. Right, so we don't have any right now. That might have been why the person missed um, his flight. Because one of the things we can do, there's a few things we can do. Um, first of all, let's plop down a few more of these objects right by the cafe or right here. We're going to put down an ATM. That's going to be fine. There's some drinks machines and stuff we can put down as well. Uh, oh, some decorative stuff. We should do that. But you see, there's a flight info display. Find out information about the flight, including delays, cancellations, or gate changes. So I'm going to put one just after you get through security. You're going to see one of those signs. But also... Um, let's say right here as you're queuing for security. And then maybe over here by the... Um, oh, you know what? Let me cancel that one. And rotate it. When you come in through this door, you're going to see a sign letting you know about your your flights. That's going to be great. Okay. So I'm also going to plop down a drinks machine here. A electronics vending machine. A food vending machine. What else we got? Kitchen storage. Oh! Add crisps and donuts. Okay. Crisps and donuts. Good. Sounds excellent. Let's throw that in there. We're selling more options. Prep cart. Sink for the bathroom. Security exit. A secure area boundary. This allows passengers to transition to non-secure areas. I mean, we don't have that right now. You can go... You basically have to pass through security again. I don't know exactly how we would use that for the best. Storage shelf helps with supply management by increasing the capacity of your delivery zone. Right. So, I mean, we do have a deliveries and a garbage zone and things like that we can do some tweaks to. Um, we got some trees outside. Let's get some decorative plants. Oh, it's quite big. Let's put it right here. Next to security, so people can feel a little bit better when they're waiting in line. To be, like, aggressively frisked. See, pricing over here. We can't, we can't tune these. But runway usage, terminal usage. So per passenger or per runway usage. Okay, so we do charge per passenger as well. So it's day four. Day four is about to start. We've got ten flights scheduled today. Um, if we... Oh. Oh. Reneged by airline. They actually just canceled that. Maybe because we didn't get quite as much reputation or something. Um, if we can make some solid money today, then what I'm going to do is build a tower so that we can have more than ten flights going simultaneously. So running on speed five. Uh, there we go. First group of people are starting to file in here. So, I don't think there's much of a queue backlog to, so far. Although, you know what? I think we do need a little bit more ticketing. This is full. There's some people that are in, that not in queue. I think we actually do need more ticketing. And that might be part of what's slowing down people's ability to get on their flights. 
Security seems halfway okay. I mean, I'd be pretty pissed if I'd be one of these people. Look at me, people that just came off of the 767. And a backlog in security. Oh my god. So this is with... With our little offset. It's still too much. Zero minutes left. 53 of 90 people gone on. And that's it. Arg, 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 arg. And some of these people are people that took up room in the queue. Okay, we need to expand this. We can't, we can't build the tower yet. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Um, ticket, 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 ticketing desk. Uh, there, there, and there. We're going to have lots going on. Uh, we're going to build a queue. I'm not going to put down any more of the kiosks. I mean, maybe it would help, but... Whoops. That's not what I want to do. Shrink. Go, 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 go. Expand. Here. And we'll make the queue a little bit longer. And we'll have to hire more staff as well. Um, so security... Okay, I think we are going to put down another ID checking stand. Uh, like that. So we'll hire another security staff. To work that. And we'll need... I don't know if we had any extra staff. Five. We've got one, two, three, four, and then five. So I think we do need one, two, three more staff to work there. I don't know where they're going right now. Oh yeah, we'll get that, and you know, I suspect when we get the other ID stand, well right now it's the ID stand that is the bottleneck, but we probably will want more metal detectors and everything too, so let's get it going. And the bag scanner, and we're not going to have anywhere to stand for that, so never mind, cancel. Maybe we can move things around a little bit, actually we can. If I go and... So go back and get the bag scanner. Because we have to leave a gap for the security person to actually stand. Right? If we put you here. And then put a metal detector here. I don't think that, like, they literally have to be touching. It's just a question of people have to pass through both. In some fashion. So then we'll go and get one, two extra security people for that. Okay, people waiting for their bags over here. That's fine. Oh, so many missed flights. So many missed flights. Look at our passenger satisfaction. 66%. That's not good. Well, this flight's almost full, though. That's actually pretty good here. There's still going to be some missed stuff. But it could be a lot worse. Two people didn't get on there. So there's a lot of ARGs, probably from the first flight, I think. Unless there's something else going on. Um, oh. Two people failed to reserve gate. Okay, we are a little too tight here. So we are going to leave 30 minutes between. Because it seems like some of the flights are leaving late. I guess if there's still some people in the queue, the flights are waiting a little bit longer for them to get, get on. So we need to spread this out a little bit more. Because that last bit of ARGS was two flights being cancelled because the gates were still filled. Because they left late. So we're going to leave 30 minutes between now instead of 15 minutes. I mean, unless there'd be a place where you can put and, like, park people. But I don't think there's anything like that. Because I can build taxiways. But yeah, I don't think we could put, like, a little holding area for planes until a gate frees up. Ooh, it's raining. That's not good. Severe weather alert. Chance of thunderstorms, chance of precipitation, high winds. That might be part of the reason the flights left late as well. Just occurred to me. Also might be one of the reasons that some of the flights cancel. Uh, are we missing a ticking agent? Sort of feels like we are. Also, did we never... There we go. We never assigned a queue over here. <laughs> Sorry about that. That might be part of the reason that didn't go so well either. I wonder if we can have more than one ticket agent at one of these things. That wasn't the problem, though. Okay, no, we do have everyone here. That's good. We got the queue there, queue there. We're about to go into our nighttime flights, I think. Starting at, yeah, 6 p.m. People are starting to arrive for that. So let's see if our improvements to security and to ticketing is going to lead to zero bottlenecks. That's what our goal is. Um, I want to see our reports for info heat map. There we go. So people are getting a little of information. They're forced to take in a little bit of info along the way. These uh, these heat maps really slow down the game, though. Mm -hmm. That's pro That's the sort of thing. I totally know why that's happening. 
and I can see that as being something that gets optimized later on. All right, so we have a little baggage cart. At least that's still working. We might want to put up a second baggage claim. That might be one of the other things that slows down the plane. Maybe um, they're having to wait to get unloaded from their luggage because of the just people arriving at all at the same time. And it then takes longer for the next set of luggage to get loaded on, and that's delaying everything. So we might want, I don't know, maybe a second baggage cart or something too. Like one baggage routing system might be sufficient. I don't know. How do you got 100 of 104? So a couple of args, but not too badly. The ticketing situation seems to be fine. There's still a bit of a backlog by security. Oh, uh, we need another queue. Or actually, what needs to happen is this needs to share the same queue. There we go. That works a lot better. And then there's definitely no backlog here, as far as I can tell. Although we might want to have, like, the security exit figured out. Like, there might be something going on with the traffic there. I don't know. I don't know. Staff expenses of 11,000. I mean, daily cash flow estimate. We're expected to make about 30 grand right now. Per day. You know, we're just, we're not going up because we're spending like crazy, obviously. Lots of people in this queue. 43 minutes left. Lots of people in queue. I think we're going to successfully fill this bad boy. Three minutes left, two minutes left, zero minutes left, but as long as people are in queue... Oh my god, 132 of 132. I think as long as people are in the queue, they don't leave, which can cause backups. So it's not always good, but we got everyone on this plane. That's amazing. And, oh, a golf cart, I guess. And that's the other thing it didn't leave, it's because it was waiting for the luggage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering about a second hangar. Maybe a bigger hangar and more little carts. I don't know if we need one for each one of these gates, although maybe. Maybe. Oh well, that was still a huge success. Day 5. Okay, we're going to run through this day and see how things go. I'm going to try not to spend anything. We're going to leave things as is. Again, the idea is hopefully um, we will build a tower and start adding more flights. And in particular, we'll build the extra large gate. Um really expand this area i think i don't know if we make a big loop or just like just make like a big square almost we got a planning tool which is cool too right like you know do we just get this area embiggened like this i guess to here and then yeah build some gates out over here um the taxiway organization is going to be interesting because the, the larger gates don't fit in the same shape but Mm, something like that. Alright, so these are the morning flights. People are unloading. There's not... Who's waiting to get on this flight, though? Like, they're just arriving to the ticketing now. You know what I've just realized? We need to move these sections. Um, because I'm usually playing on the medium map, people spawn in right here, but that's not good. We need, um, uh, we need to change our drop-off area. Can I create more than one drop-off zone? Can I clear the old one, though? Can I eliminate this drop-offs? Yes. And change the drop off Okay, I, I didn't realize this because I was playing on the smaller map before. Drop-offs over there. Um, and then... It's okay that pickups is over here. And I think deliveries will get moved as well. Deliveries. So yeah, I don't care that, like, pickups, people have to walk really far away. But drop-offs, we want them to get dropped off here and then go there. That's actually something that I hadn't realized. It takes them too long upon arrival to reach the drop-offs because of the map size mismatch. Again, it's early access, so those are little things that are to be expected. If you play on the default medium map, the drop-off zone will just start right next to this stuff. So this should make our life a lot better, or our passengers' lives a lot better here. Did we ever set up the queues? I don't think so. I don't think these guys ever got queues. As evidenced by the horrible mess of people standing around. It just looks silly. Um, and we've got a bit of a... I'm going to get a couple extra staffers. I think the staffers are the ones who run the golf carts. That's why they keep disappearing. Let's get a couple more. That's part of what's going on here. Um, we got some args, but yeah, that that's because that's my bad. That's my bad for the drop-offs. People are trying to get into this queue. Okay, 
Let's get one more ID, please. Some of these guys are arguing because of legitimate reasons, but some of them are because the, the pickup or the drop-off is too far away. Let's get another security staffer. And get that going on. Uh, I think our afternoon flights will go a lot better than these morning ones now that we've got this sorted. There you go. You've got that. We're going to sign you to the same queue. Thank you very much. So this should drain a lot faster. A lot of security here. I think we're going to get uh, another couple of janitors because things are still incredibly messy. All right. So how you doing over here? 82. All boarded successfully. Fantastic. So when's our first afternoon flight? All right, we only have one afternoon flight, that's right. And then it's all evening flights. That's the other thing. We didn't do a really good job of spreading out our load. Who are you? Smart. Oh, this is the afternoon flight. Sorry, that was the last morning flight. This is our afternoon flight. 105 possible passengers. 70 of them are already in line. A few more in line. So I think this... So it starts boarding in a little bit. Queue is currently full. That's all right. I think they're going to get loaded on here really, really well. I mean, it's easy when there's just one flight at a time. So despite the fact that we've added some more staff and a few more furnishings, our bank balance is about the same. In fact, it's gone on up, gone up a little bit. Passenger satisfaction is a little higher than it was once before. Some more airline interest, although we can't take in another job right now because we don't have a control tower. And as soon as we do, what I'll do is I'll be adding some afternoon fights, although I'll probably even in the other video. See, these guys are dropping off over here now much, much better. I could save my staff a lot of walking if I were to move the uh, the garbage area. And I should probably do that. That's probably one of the reasons the uh, janitors are having a hard time. Also, my garbage area is not very big. Um, so we're going to make it bigger. And if you don't want to just embiggen these forever, what you can also do is add um, their shelving. There's dumpsters for the garbage. Um... Dumpster over here, which just adds more capacity. You put them in the zones, but we're going to do that. So that'll save a little bit of walking for our janitor. Although they might have to go and grab all these and move them up there, which is, you know, unfortunate. Wish I'd noticed that sooner. I think some of these people are actually pausing to read the board. I think that's exactly what's going on here. Information is going up. Yeah. So they're getting information by standing here. They're doing a lot of reading. And there are plenty of people who are using these kiosks. Oh, that's great. That's really wonderful. All right. So, oh, we did have one flight that failed to reserve the gate. Probably because of the late departure of whatever was there before. I expect this to be less and less of a problem, but we could space these out a little bit more to prevent that. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should. And it's not like we can fight fit more nighttime flights in here, so we may as well. And do that. Because a missed flight is pretty bad. There's not much sense in cramming in an extra flight in the schedule if you're just going to miss one anyway. Because I think we might get a penal penalty. So yeah, the ones who are departing, they can take a long walk over there. I don't care anymore. They're gone. Alright, flight's arriving. Tons of people that are in the queue waiting to get on. That's very, very nice to see. Boarding. 74 boarded. And it leaves instantly. So that's the other thing, actually. If As long as we're uh, like set up properly so that people successfully board the flight without too much delay, then the flight doesn't get delayed leaving and hold the gate up too long. Oh, see, we're waiting for that last person. But they got there. So these 737s, they're not full. They can, and I think they can fit 140 people. So they don't have a full set of ticket sales. Although, if we keep increasing customer satisfaction and things like that, these flights might get more and more and more full. And we're clearly making some money. And I haven't seen an ARG in a little bit, so that's really nice to see. Almost all the passengers were already in queue, and part the, part of the reason they weren't all in queue is because the queue is literally just a little too short for it. But they're all going to funnel in very quickly. So yeah, you can see they're a little... Oh, and we're waiting for that luggage. So yeah, I think that luggage cart is slowing things down a bit. So I don't know, like maybe another hangar will be the thing. But I still think my next major expense will be another tower. And then we'll book a few more flights in the afternoon. We can fit another three flights in there very comfortably without any problems. But this brings us to the end of this Let's Try. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, obviously the game is still very, very, very early access. But um, if it's given the right kind of loving. This could actually be a really fun game because it feels like there's always another problem to solve. And that's that's what 
that's the right way for these games to work. There should always be something. There should you should always feel like you don't have enough money. Like you need more space. Like oh, I now I need another game. Now I need more security. Now I need more ticketing agents. Now I need more this. Now I need more this. There's always like you've got to push to the next thing, and it can be very satisfying to keep going there. I mean, I don't think there's an end game to a design like this. I don't can't imagine what the end game to something like this would be. But then the same thing happens with when you're playing Prison Architect. What's the end game of Prison Architect? Maybe you sell your prison to make a lot of money and you open a new one. Maybe you go with more and more difficult like prisoners so maybe there's something you can do for that with the random events and things system that comes up there's a lot of issues that can start considering in terms of finances in terms of security in terms of labor strikes etc 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 that uh, that can get involved and again uh right now the uh, the research there's not a whole lot in here but that's going to be i'm certain something else that you could massively expand so i'm going to keep an eye on this game uh i probably won't be let's playing it for a little while until you know there's more and more content but uh we'll see i will keep an eye on it and who knows maybe uh, maybe it'll be a lot sooner than I think the next time we see some content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.